Hiya folks, today we're going to look at some stuff I've bought from the first car boot sale of the year and also have a look at a transit van as well. I'll see you in a minute. Right, well I've actually been to, not my first one actually, it's just, I've turned in a fib there, it's my second one. I went to one last weekend, that was a big one, big well organised one, and what I tend to find there is you get a lot of dealers and stuff like that, and a lot of people selling stuff, but asking top dollar for it, because they're probably eBayers as well and stuff like that. The one I went to yesterday, just opened up after being off for the season, and it's more you sort of, there are a few dealers there, but it's more you sort of normal people who go to just sell stuff sort of thing. So anyway, this is what I bought, because I have to buy stuff to restore, as you know, on my Retro Hacks channel. Retro Hacks, <laughs> Retro Hacks channel. And I was walking around, and I always go to a, to a barter anyway. I always like to have a barter. I never pay the asking price. And I come across this. Now, this is a very old looking jug, as you can see there. It's actually got a stopper in it. A little cork in there, I don't know what's in there. But uh, yeah, let me show you a bit closer. Well, as you can probably see, it's in a bit of a state. Um, it's quite heavy as well, believe it or not, but it's all there. I can't see any drawings or anything on it, but as I say, this is quite a substantial thing. And I see this sitting on the floor, and the handle's a little bit bent. I'll, I will probably straighten it out, obviously, as best I can. So anyway, so that's that. And I thought that'll make a nice little piece to um, maybe put some sort of graphics on there, like Castro or something like that, or Duckham's or whatever. The old oils, you know? But I can't really do that at the moment because I've I sold me vinyl cutter. My vinyl cutter went with my t-shirt business. So I'm I'm looking out for another one now. I've just emailed someone about one. Um, so I'm gonna have to get another vinyl cutter because it's very handy for cutting stencils out and stuff like that. So um, I could buy some stickers on there, but or, or make uh, like the, the water slide transfers. I haven't decided yet, but as I say, I've got that and I saw that sitting on the floor there amongst some other old stuff. And uh, I said to the bloke, how much is that? me getting ready to barter to knock him down and he said oh that'd be a pound mate <laughs> and he, I think he, he was a bit taken back because I sort of was taken back how cheap it was I was expecting to pay him to ask 10 pounds and I was going to pay sort of 8 pounds for that so he said a pound and then he, he saw me pause and then he said you can have the other two because there was another two with it so he brought that one and that one and he said, you can have the, all three of them for two pound. So I got my money out anyway. I think that's a, a real bargain. These are really lovely little things. And I thought they would make a great display piece. Maybe one with Duckham's, one with SO, and one with Texaco or something like that. Painted up lovely. So that's going to be coming up on my channel. But two pounds. If that was, a, as I say, this other one, this, this big one I went to the week before, they would have been sort of 15, 20 pounds for the set. You can guarantee that. So two pounds. That's, that's that what I paid for that couldn't believe it so that's them let's put them to the side so I had a walk around and I went back to his stall again and I thought I'm gonna have another look around so then I pulled this up now again I looked at it first and I was prepared to pay sort of again eight five to eight pounds something like that and it's an old heat lamp and uh, this will make a great restoration because it's all there, it's complete. The only thing it's lacking is uh, on the front there, I think it would probably have a little logo there or a little plaque or plate or whatever, because there's four little holes there where the plaque would have gone through. Now I might be able to fill them in and if I can find a picture of one of these online, I might be able to put a, like I say, a transfer in there, a water slide transfer to mimic the original. But again, it's all there. I know it's an old fashioned thing, but uh, people like to see these sort of things restored. The flex is all sort of, broken and cracked and the bloke actually told me so it did work so he's obviously plugged it in but the elements good by the looks of it the chrome work should come up lovely this is painted in hammerite paint this is sort of a uh, I don't know a goldy sort of color maybe but uh, I can get hammerite paint that's not a problem and the base is obviously hand uh, been painted in silver so yeah so that's another thing and I paid a pound for that great restoration piece there and I'm very, very happy with that. So, so far, there, I spent three pounds. That's fantastic. <sighs> let's put that on, oh, let's put that over there. Look. Get it out of the way over there. I'll put it there so you can see it. Look at that. So, that was three pounds. Then, as I say, I walked around again. 
and I'm always on the lookout for old matchbox cars as you can see and again these are matchbox the earlier ones are matchbox Lesney there's a little matchbox series number 27 Mercedes 230 SL now as you can probably see there it looks like oh, oh it's definitely broken now <laughs> hold on <laughs> It looks like it's got the uh, windshield, which has probably been cut off of it, I suppose. I don't know, or been broken off. I would imagine it would just be coming up there. I don't think it's no pillars on there, so it would have been just a glass. So I think you can buy the glass for that. So that's one of the ones that I found. This little thing, like a little Winnebago. It's got a door in there. I think there was some sort of handle on the bottom where you could turn and open and close the door. But uh, yeah, what's that called? Mobile home by Lesney, 1980. There we go, so we've got that one to refurbish. I thought that was quite cute, that one, actually. Now, I've got a double-decker bus. I have got a Matchbox one of these as well. This is the one made in China. So, uh, I might do one red, one green, and one cream. They did come in different... Uh... Although, there's a top deck there. It looks like it's split there, look. It's got a split along that top deck. I'm not too sure about that, but... Uh... Look into that for a bit later on. This one is, oh, I don't know what it is. Made in England, it's a super fast. Made by Lesney. Well, I can't see exactly what it is, but it's a Renault of some sorts, but um, yeah. So, doors open on it, right hand drive. And uh, that's another one. And the last one, which is this one. Got a boot that opens at the back there, or tailgate or whatever it is, with the engine in the back. So it's a rear engine motor. Made in England, 1971 by Lesney. It's a Mazda RX500, number 86 by the looks of it. So, yeah, there we go. That's that. So, little old lady. Uh, I picked these out of a, a job lot which she had there. And 50 pence each. So, I got 50, 1, 1, 52, 2, 50. And I offered her 2 quid and she took it. So, 50 pence for an old 1960s toy, which is about 400, 400 years old. It's about 40 odd plus years old. This one's probably even older. As I said, did I see a date on that one? No, I don't know what the date is on that one, but it's the old style wheels. That could even be um, early 60s or maybe even 50s, I'm not too sure. So when you're paying 50 pence for something, which is sort of 50 years old, that ain't too bad, is it? So yeah, that's that was my car booty lot today. And uh, I was out, was it Friday? I see one of my subscribers, John, John Oliver, when I was in the petrol station in Horncastle the other day, I was on my way to Skeggy. And uh, he said he's got a present for me, or he's made something for me. Now, I couldn't think for the life of me what it was, and I said I'm in all week or whatever. But anyway, to cut a long story short, shush, Bison. He uh, he must have popped round, because as we're walking towards the front of the house, Sharon says, what's that thing on the floor there? And this was it. Now, I don't know if you're going to know what it is, but as soon as I saw it, I knew exactly what it was. Any ideas? Some of you who, who, who do a certain thing on my channel will probably know what it is. As I say, I knew what it was because uh, it's a very handy thing to have. And I'm going to just pause now and then I'm going to go, Poof. there we go. That's what it's for. It's a, a, a lawnmower engine stand. So you can work on your, your lawnmower engine because normally it's got the shaft at the bottom, as you probably know. Let me show you. As you can probably see through there. And you can't put it flat on the table without it rocking about. And sometimes you just want the engine to sit square while you're working on it, like cleaning out, taking a carb off, or sorting out the springs or whatever, anything like that. But it's an ideal tool, and he did actually send me the plans for this oh, a good while ago, and uh, I never got around to making it. So obviously, it's a very, very handy thing. And uh, as I say, it's only made up of simple little bits of offcuts of wood, but uh, it really is a great item for again servicing or maintaining or doing any work on your mowers or whatever right so that's what i've been buying that's what i've got i did a bit of work on the transit van yesterday i didn't film it because i intended to stay out there for a long period of time but it didn't work out i, I admit i just checked my battery on my camera and that was flat so uh, i did a bit of filling on the side uh, so let's go and have a look at that and i'll show you what i've been up to so far right okay then so as you can probably see i've got some body filler in here now um i've tidied that i've got to still do a little bit of shape into this but uh Again, I ran out of filler last night, so, or yesterday rather, so that's why I had to stop and then I had to go out and get some. But uh, all this is all nicely firmly in now, as you can probably see. The seals are all in. I'm just putting a, 
bit along there obviously just to bring that curve back in there I've built up the uh, inner part of the wheel arch there this was uh, as you know rusted and hold and all that and I just put a bit of uh, metal in there just to take the support support it get, get it shaped back and then I'll just put the curve back in there as you can see so that's just got to be sanded down and uh, primed and all that so that's got to happen very shortly so as you can see now all the way along lovely and solid just got to reshape it and do the bodywork and everything's gonna be fine now again this sort of thing like I've just got to take this up there and blend that into the uh, the existing panel there and that say that'll smooth out all oh, lovely that so I'm happy with that and very similar to what I've got to do there just literally blend that in blend the welds in at the end there uh, coming around here this has just got to be smoothed out this is fiberglass at the moment and this has stood up as I say for I think two years this has been like this so as you can see it's uh, just going to want a, a gentle sand down and I'll blend that in there just to get the curve back and everything will be fine with that I will tidy up the bottom of that door there as you know that's got some uh, bubblage on it so uh, just keep that tidy and then as I say that would be ready for spraying as well so I'll be happy with that that's going to happen very shortly hopefully before the end of the month anyway and here's Sharon in her little sewing quarters now she does all these quilts and all that as you can probably see there and she's got this uh, fancy blinking what is it Sha? Sewing, sewing machine. machine and it does embroidery and all that lot as well doesn't it so let's just have a little look at how she sews these little patchwork quilts together right so what you got to do here now i'm just testing it because right so you've got caught at the back so oh, i did it now yeah oh that's not very good is it tension was wrong oh all right so what we got here you got a brother in brother embroidery and sewing se 400 machine uh and it's got a touch screen lcd display there and this you're, you're you're making all these quilts and all that at the moment aren't you? Patchwork my quilts. they've all got different colors and stuff like that so that's just something sharon does she cuts all the squares to size there as you can see and this used to be my little office i started off in here all oh, many moons ago and uh, as you can see there's my old stuff i used to well i, I say i got these from auction these still waiting to be removed yeah i know sharon i've got these old stuff up there as well i've got a dalek up there any of you doctor who fans or star wars fans know exactly what they are an old tees made I bought there. We, we had a phase where we started using that shower, didn't we? Yeah. An old tees made next to the bed. That's from the 1970s, that is. Hey, anyway, that's, that's how you start off. And then you turn it inside out and all the seams don't show it in, do they or something? And got her eye on it. And I've got to put the, that stuff in the middle. Back in oh, well, this. This is, uh, yeah. what's this? Insulation. Wadding, wadding isn't it? Wadding, 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 wadding whatever, wadding, yeah. Wadding, wadding, wadding. And that's what she does. That's what I do. Say hello to everybody, baby. Hello. Right, I'm going to go, baby, because I've got things to do. Off you go, then. See you later. Bye, so there we go, a little update vid there showing you the transit van, what I've been up to, what I've bought recently at the uh, car boot sales now that they've started off. If you're doing restorations and stuff like that, I'm no expert as you probably know, but uh, I have a go and it provides some interesting content for people online and uh, hopefully once the transit van's out of the way, we've got the Trotter van and then we've got the Triumph Acclaim, those are two cars which I want to get up and running and sorted. This isn't too far off now to be honest with you, but uh, it's just getting the transit van out of the way so it gives me the opportunity and the space to start working on these. And that's where I'm going with these anyway. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this little update video and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.